Uh, Chris Ockley here at, uh, in Chesterfield, Missouri at the 2018 Ladue Bruska Strobach uh, Invitational at Parkway Central this year while Ladue finishes up their uh, construction on the track. First, uh, Lila Binsky, the Ladue Junior. Tell me, tell me what that's like. Uh, I know they started working on the on they've been doing a lot of work at school and then now they've moved over to the track and football field and the stadium and so you guys have gotten kicked off of your home track what's yep. that like you said you go to uh, I know coach Harder said you guys are spread out between three or four different schools yeah. and you said you go to MICDS when you need to do you know workout days on the yeah. track what's that been like um it's been the first week so it's still we're still getting used to it we really don't need the track more than like one or two days a week so sure. we've just been going we have a middle school like right down the road so we do like workouts on the grass there um and then we'll just jog on over to micds for days we need a track it's it's been an, an adjustment but i'm just really excited to have a new track so sure yeah. sure um and then uh you, you get two big wins today here at the home meet uh when the 1600 521 i think a couple one or two seconds over uh, emily dickinson of parkway west and then uh, a couple hour break and then you uh the duo you guys battle it out again in the 3200 <laughs> yeah. and you pass her what 200 to go so, so to win for 1141 uh tell me tell me how things played out and went for you today um it was i felt really good today better than i've really felt all year so that was really a good confidence booster for me um emily's an amazing runner and i was just really excited to have her to race with and um i was just planning on kind of staying steady and sitting behind her and then seeing what I could do in the last lap 200 meters to go so that's just how it played out it felt good though and it sounds like you guys have raced each other know each other well yeah. seen you talk to each other she yeah. uh, wasn't too upset for beating her twice today she yeah. wasn't too upset with you yeah no she wasn't she was really excited I mean she got a new um, 1600 PR and that was exciting to see for her and we worked together in the 3200 so yeah sure and you're all state last fall in, in cross 20 you what first 21st yeah and then uh let's see last year's state track what you said uh what fifth in the 1600 fifth in the 32 and the 32 yeah. and then what eighth in the 16 yeah and uh prs of what 5 12 in the 16 and mm -hmm. 11 what in the 11 36 what's what's the goal you got uh what five weeks till till state yeah. what's the just you feel good where you're at right now and healthy you think you can improve on those prs i definitely think i have a lot more in me we've kind of had cancellations so i haven't had as much racing as i wanted to this year so i'm just looking forward to continue to improve workouts have been really good and um, i've just been feeling good this week so i'm just really excited to keep keep improving and see what i can do for the next couple of weeks and one 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 feature of this uh, meet, which is nice that you see at a lot of college meets, is a, an athlete in the meet and two big victories. Uh, what would that be like to be named the uh, athlete in the meet for your your home meet here? That would, that would be really exciting, especially because it's my own meet, my home our home meet, and really exciting. Um, good confidence boost. We're definitely going into the final couple weeks of the season. And uh, what what you feel? Uh, feel like you can get down to those five O's for the third for the 16 I mean running 512 as a sophomore is really impressive what's what's uh, do you, is the goal to just keep getting faster and, and run in college or what's, yeah. what's 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 your future hold definitely keep shaving time off the 1600 and the 3200 I definitely want to get into those lower fives as best as I can and I am looking to run in college where it's a progress a process and I'm sure. you know trying to talk to coaches it's I'm just kind of being patient with it sure. and seeing how it works out, but yeah. Is it uh, stressful to think that all the way to college, you, you know, you've just, you know, you know, you're what, five months into your yeah. junior year of, of uh, high school, what's that like? It's stressful? definitely, it, it's stressful for sure. It just went so fast for me. I mean, all of a sudden I like open my eyes and I'm a junior and seniors are about to leave and then I'm going to be the senior on the team and at school. So it's definitely going fast and a little stressful, but I'm excited too. Right, right. And uh, what what's what's one of the one or two of the things that you need to work on to, to the next five or six weeks to, to get where you really want to be and, and uh, um, just mentally hang in, hang in those races longer or uh, get out to better, better stronger quicker start or what what do you need to work on to get where you want to be I think um, I think being a little more confident in myself I think like I like to kind of sit back and kick and I think if I can just take my race out like I want to and see what I can do instead of just waiting and I think I could run a faster time that way so I think just being more confident in myself 
Um, yeah, and I think in that way I can really drop down my times and hopefully get to where I want to be. How long have you been running? Is this something new to you? Have you been doing a long time, or have you have you done multiple other sports? What? Tell me about your history. Um, I started like really running because we have an eighth grade track and cross country program, so um, that's when I like really started running, but. Um, high school, I definitely started getting more into it, realizing like, hey, like I, I kind of sure. like this. I, I'm pretty good at it, so um, that's when I really started getting into it. And I did like basketball in middle school too, but sure. I wasn't very good at it. So running's definitely my main thing, and yeah, I love it. Do you, do you follow the sport much outside of, of the high school ranks? Do you like to watch the uh, the college and the, and the professionals? And definitely. if so, who who are those athletes that you you look up to and that you follow on social media and like to you know to, to emulate? I mean, there are so many. I mean, like, Carissa from Mizzou is just sure. amazing. I, I went to the camp this summer, and I saw her. Just, like, got to talk to her. She's amazing. Um, Emma Coburn is, like, amazing. Right. And Colin Quigley, especially because she's from St. Louis, right. and Courtney Ferricks. There are so many. And especially Des Linden. Shout yeah. out to her for winning the Boston Marathon. Was it was amazing. Cool, wasn't it? And Shalane. There are so many. I could go on. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love, like, just looking up to them. And they post, like, really cool things on social media. And, like, sure. I just like following their races and, and watching and seeing what they do. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Well, you had a great day today. Congrats, and we'll wait and see uh, on the uh, athlete of the, of the meet from the, on the ladies' side. Yeah. But uh, hopefully that today was a start of nice weather for the rest of the season. I hope and so, yeah. uh, so uh, thanks for the time, and uh, stay healthy. All right, thanks so much.